What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on the Earthquake Live 3D stream with an earthquake update for a 3.8 earthquake. Strike it over here, uh, well towards the, I guess that's a Midwest area. A uh, pretty significant size quake for that area. Um, and that's kind of why I'm jumping in here on the stream. Going to check out a couple uh, dynamic uh, uh, information pages on it, I guess, here. Let me see. This is specifically out in the state of Indiana. 3.8 magnitude quake strike in this area. I haven't seen any um, activity in this region for quite some time. We have been watching movement uh, along the new Madrid fault system and kind of a kind of like a line of activity through Texas in the parts of Virginia as well, just microquakes. But this is a pretty good sized quake for this region. Um, anything of this significance, um, I'm gonna wanna jump in and see what's going on there uh, for, this, for this earthquake. It has been reviewed, so the folks can't pull this down there at the USGS. It's been reviews by, reviewed by a seismologist, confirming the, the magnitude of 3.8 and a depth of 3.1 kilometers. Now I know for a fact, a lot of people are gonna feel this earthquake uh, just due to the type of uh, topography and ground structure over there. Uh, it seems like east of the Rockies, people tend to feel these earthquakes, even though they're you know not, not as big as California, uh, they're felt broadly over a uh, significant area. Uh, let's check it out. Some of the, the uh, did you feel it responses? Uh, Rockville, Indiana. It looks like quite a few folks over the region, uh, up to 41 kilometers or so. There's a bunch more after this. Uh, reported some light shaking. Um, you can see the epicenter right there. Uh, Danville. I'm not. I'm not too familiar with this area, but most of the reported shaking from the community shows it as light um, to weak. Weak to light, it looks like. But still, that's, um, that's, that's kind of interesting, folks, for an earthquake out there. Um, let's check out uh, historical seismic activity in this region. And this map only goes back to uh, 1900 or so. And within this region, you can see a couple white dots down here towards the, uh, uh, what is that, Illinois area. See, I'm just, not, I'm so not used to doing earthquake activity in this, or re reviewing earthquake activity in these states. Kind of odd. But a couple quakes here, there, looks like maybe, um, looks like maybe 4.5 to 5.0 uh, in the Illinois area since 1900 specifically for this area of Indiana I don't see anything so kind of odd and not saying there hasn't been any but since about 1900 um, since about 1900 there hasn't been any specifically in this area I'm just checking out some specs here uh, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, the most intense shaking experience in Indiana occurred in the Wabash River Valley on September 27, 1909. This earthquake knocked down chimneys, broke windows, uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, let's see here. The most recent earthquake in Indiana hit last week. Well, which, which is last week? This is back in 2011. Um, that resulted in a 3.8 magnitude trembler uh, located about 50 miles north of Indianapolis. So this is in a different area, but uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting there. Let's go ahead and check out some uh, specifics. If you felt this earthquake out there in Indiana, folks, I'm kind of curious to see what uh, you know what your input is. Uh, if you if it felt like a jolt, a rolling motion, sometimes people can hear it. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the catalog here. Let's just go uh, 2.5 minimum up to uh, 8.0. And I want to go back here, at least looking uh, to 90. I'd like to go lower than that. Let's just go 1.0. And I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a, uh, a rectangle here on the map in this area of Indiana and um, Illinois area. And just kind of see what, uh, I can adjust this here. Hold on one second here, folks. Go down here like that, and uh, there we go. So we'll include that. Use this region. See what we got uh, in this area as far as the earthquake catalog goes. That, there we go. 
Okay, so this is a little bit more detailed in earthquake activity uh, historically when you use a catalog compared to the uh, other one. But that, that other one's probably only showing a 4.0 and above. So um, the 3.8 just struck right within the last hour. And it looks like within this vicinity, there was a much larger quake back in 1909. That may be the one that was reading there um, off of Google. I, could, I didn't get the magnitude. So yeah, 5.1 just to the east by a few miles um, there in Indiana, 1909. Seismic activity, uh, pretty wild out here. Quite a bit down to the south as well. So uh, no stranger to quakes, I guess. And they can definitely see some larger movement in this region. Down south here, 3.1, uh, looks like a 4.4. So yeah, we can see some larger quakes in that area, folks. So just be on guard, be careful out there. Uh, but for now, just that 3.8, uh, Montezuma, Montezuma, is that right? If I mis, uh, mispronounce that, please let me know. Montezuma, Indiana. As I mentioned here, let's go back to the last seven days, um, all magnitudes, and you can see this trail of activity kind of stretching towards the Appalachian Mountain area in the parts of Virginia. Kind of like a line of activity. Oklahoma seen a significant swarm there near Clinton. Uh, Quentin and uh, some movement right smack dab in the new Madrid fault system uh, that's a pretty significant area for major hazard right there in the red there US hazard zone where that 3.8 occurred there in Indiana um, it's outside of the major seismic zone but we just looked at that map that showed us that it's capable in that same area of seeing a 5.1 uh, 5.1 I don't know what type of damage that would do in this region um, in California and shake things up a little bit. But again, like I say, this type of land, this type of soil, not for sure exactly um, what a 5.1 would do in that region. But uh, yeah, keeping an eye, keeping an eye on this area around the new Madrid just because of all the activity in and around it. And uh, more today uh, with the movement there into Indiana. We'll have a complete update a little bit later on folks uh, in the earthquake video update tonight. For right now, 3.8 striking in Indiana. Once again, let me know, folks, what you felt if you did feel it. Have a good day.